Ah, I got some in my eye. Fuck. I'm Jeremy from the J Jugular Channel, and I'm back for more Crash Bandicoot 1 on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. So we got three more parts left. Probably. So we got to do the lab, get the color gem here. Then we got to backtrack to go through all the levels that we don't have gems for. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out right now. But we're here. We're in the lab. And I'm pretty sure this is where Crash got experimented on. So he's probably getting like hella flashbacks right now. Is that platform going to honestly go in and out? Yep, figured. So, of course, we cannot die here. Which, honestly, this is the other level that I really hate. Just because I can easily die here with all the electric shits going on. And platforms and stuff going in and out. And, oh my god. It is hella easy to die here. Yeah, just dodge those shits. You know, I feel like with the defeat of every boss, I feel like I like games that really make it to where it connects with something in the overworld. Like God of War 3 in a way. When you know, whenever you kill like a boss in God of War 3, like it makes the overworld turn shitty. Like whenever you kill Poseidon, it caused constant rain. I don't know. I like shit like that. I feel like Crash Bandicoot 1 should have that with two and three you don't really get that a lot and then like the only instant where you see that with like crash Bandicoot three is when they talk about when in when in trophies defeated but they fuck i need that whatever they treat like entropy was dead when he really wasn't so it was like 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 from warp room three i know i'm talking about crash three and it's like we're not even there yet but from warp room what three to warp room four it's like Wow, you guys defeated in God damn it, bro! You guys defeated engine. Now we can't control the time twister. And then I easily go to the next warp room where engine's like, "Fuck you, bandicoots! I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you guys!" Like, Ugh. if anything. All right, so let me focus on getting this goddamn crate. All right, there we go. Like two fucking boxes right there. If anything, the order of bosses in Crash 3 is kind of off. I feel like in, like Engine probably could have been third, and we would have been okay with that. But they continue the trend of having him fourth for some reason. I don't, I don't know. As you guys can see, I have a different shirt on while I'm showing more muscle. Yes, I do work out. Look at me. I'm skinny, but whatever. The way I have my camera position, you guys are probably looking at me. And you're like, are you looking up at your screen? And yes, I am low-key just because... I have my camera position to where it's like it's looking at me and I can easily look at it. But if I look up at my screen, it's like I'm looking up at my I don't know, it's fucking weird. I only have it set up that way just because it makes the most sense. Alright, so I thought Loki that was a nitro crate. I was like, boy, where have there been any other nitro crates in this damn game? <laughs> There's a couple of easy spots to die at. Don't get me wrong. This this is not one of them. But, uh, just don't fuck yourself up right here. A lot of easy places to fucking die at. That one right there, that's one of them. I don't like that part. So, here it is. Yup! Yup! There it fucking is. That part right fucking there. Because there's electricity that's flowing in between. Like, right before you get to him. So, you're like, I gotta walk past it. But this man is literally on your ass. Like, right here. He's, like, right here. And you and here's the electrical shit, right? You walk. Boom. And then his arms are all electric. Ah! Fuck this level. Back with exhibit. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't even know if I'm gonna even die. <laughs> like... Uh, TNTs, TNTs, TNTs. Look at this! Like, <sighs> get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, die, motherfucker! Oh. I think I'm doing good, man. I think I'm doing good. Oh shit. Oh, it's a good thing those guys do not jump back. I'm missing like three crates. I don't know where they're at. Oh. Yo, this is 
all about fucking timing. Okay, I can't jump right there. I can jump right here. I think I <laughs> Oh my god, I had to stretch that out. Oh my throat. Oh bro. I was so fucking scared. Literally right here, right? Fun fact, the door can actually hurt you. And we got it. Hell yes. We got all the fucking gems. Give me a round of applause, bro. Round of a fucking applause. Okay. That's a big ass gem for all of them to just collide in there. Like, like that. But uh, with that being said, we have pretty much cleared all the levels uh, prior to Stormy Ascent. The Great Hall, you know what? We'll just do the Great Hall, just so I can show you what it is. Uh, to all my DKC2 fans that remember Stronghold Sh Showdown, that's all the Great Hall is. We can't do much until we get all the gems, so we're going to have to go get all the gems. And all this does is just unlock us the ability to go finally battle against Cortex. So we have to go all the way back here. All the way back here, all the way back here. Yes, we're going to go to the very first island. Very first one. It's going to be all right. So I hope everybody's day is going all right. You know, um, I really wish that they would have made it easier to walk between every island quicker. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, so where are we starting? Okay, so we got Insanity Beach, Jungle Rolls, a great gate. This literally makes this level. Adding the ability for us to use, I think it's the orange? No, is it the yellow or orange gem that we actually need? It might as either or. I don't, let me see real quick. Oh, we're missing the purple one. Wow, I can't even, I really can't do too much. I mean, I, I can still do something here. I know I don't need the purple gem for this level. Next part, we'll probably start off with backtracking for the purple gem, so it's not not that bad. Like the extra gem path makes this level extra fucking long, so a level within itself. I think it's actually, the second part of the level is actually kind of harder, too, now that I look back at it and think about it. You don't see any like fortress levels in like Island 3 is because mainly it's like the factory industry cortex evil ish levels that are over there. <laughs> hey Tana Baby, you're gonna have to give me some tougher bonus ones. I actually we've done all of our boat our bonus ones, so I can't really request nothing more, nothing less. Our bonus ones are meant to be like easy. So. Scummy thing is we only missing like fucking eight crates, so yeah, do this little number right here. Used to be in Crash One, they would just completely negate this exit altogether. But now, if you want to, you can pretty much go there if you want to finish the level quicker. But it's a long route. I'm assuming the question probably can rise up somewhere. People are commenting frequently. Hey, are you going to do the um, relics? I am not. I'm not going to do the relics. Wait, are there, are there crates back there? Are there crates back there? It's actually a nice attention to detail that you can also see Island 2, I guess, and Island 3 in the background. 
specifically Island 3, we can tell just by looking at the back and seeing Cortex's blimp in the castle um, feature. <clears throat> more of a gauntlet right here more than anything else. But it shouldn't be hard. I hope there was not a fucking crate back there behind that wall. <clears throat> oh my god, bro. It took fucking forever that thing to pop up. Easy. Three crates. Wherever they may be. Please don't tell me I missed Two crates, two crates, two crates, two crates, two crates. Oh, fuck me, man. There was a fucking crate back there. Okay. Wait, so. Am I missing something? Okay, so that's one crate. Okay, okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Last gym was like this. Last one's right here. Okay, I'm not crazy. I'm. Pr I don't know which one I fucking missed. It might have been the one that we fucking like saw that as we were coming up. I don't know. Okay. Okay. What's the next level I can do? I think. Let's see. Great gate boulders upstream. Yep, it's upstream. Let's go and knock upstream out the park. Let's go ahead and uh, ah ah. I'm pretty sure like in the trailer before they use like you know a developer camera or a beta camera or whatever. I don't know what the fuck you call those. Um, or a free zoom camera. I don't know. They used one of them to like film this level and then it had like the background showcase, which was actually pretty neat. Literally just one box. Literally just one damn box. Get me off this level and get my damn gym, yo. <laughs> the blasphemy and just giving me like eight gems. Like a path filled with eight of the same color gem just to get one box. That that's not proportionally correct. That doesn't make sense at all. Why are you gonna do that to me? That's stupid. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, there's more. Wait, am I supposed to? Okay, yo. I start, I saw it starting to like shake a little bit. I was like, wait, am I supposed to wait for it to move? Wow, oh, now we're talking. Alright guys, you guys know what to do if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share to see your homies, your homies' girlfriends, your homies' mom. You guys know. The whole family tree. Tell everybody that I make videos because I'm Jeremy. <laughs> I'd be redoing my intro. Hi, I'm Jeremy from Jay Jungle Channel. Welcome to another part of Crash. Whatever. I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Don't forget to wash your hands if you're going out. Wear a mask because that's the smartest thing to do. And I'll see you. Yeah. Anyway. Bye. Why am I looking up at myself? I, I still haven't ended the video yet. I'm trying to be cool.